Homebrewers, welcome. Hope you are having a fantastic one. Uh, lockdown treating you well, that type of thing. I've been a little bit preoccupied with my own stuff, so uh, I do apologize. But I'm here now and we've got a cracking video for you because we're making cocktails today using sugar wine, which I've already pre-brewed because we've done the video. So I'll put the link up there and I'll put a little picture of my five gallons of sugar wine and also the freeze refraction video that I did brewing the sugar wine into something like a rum, I guess. So I've gone ahead and I've already pre-done that because funny enough, it takes a little while to do that. It is not a necessary step, but in order to make our cocktails taste good, the best they possibly can, like something you would actually get in a bar, this step kind of makes it easier because you add less alcohol per volume, uh, even though it's stronger. You know what I mean? It saves adding in like half a pint of sugar wine and then trying to make it taste good. So we're going to be making a simple syrup, which is basically just sugar and water. Now I've gone the extra step and I've got myself a load of limes because this is going to make a lime syrup. So to make a simple syrup is actually very simple. Uh, it is equal parts sugar to water. You can change the ratio as you see fit. You can substitute it for sweetener, but that again, I'm still not a fan of sweetener even after all this time. Tastes weird. So I'm going for the, the sugar. Now I got my Tesco's delivery in and I had one bag, which is, uh, which was broken. So I'm going to use this kilo bag because I'm making a liter. So kilo of sugar, one liter of water. And in it goes. So our simple syrup has been made. I have applied it heat until it has turned back to clear. Good stuff. Now, you can just leave it like that and then you can mix and match as you like, but I really like my citrus. So I'm going to take some lime juice because I really like my lime juice and it's the only thing I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to add in, oh yes, half a bottle of this stuff. It was only 50p and I do like the citrus bite. I have my cheese grater and now I'm going to zest these five limes. Could take a minute. The zesting has been completed and we've got this lovely, oh, I love lime so much. So I've already added in half a bottle of lime juice. So it's got that, it's got that sort of zingy citrus acidy edge to it, but there's so much sugar in here that it's going to taste like limeade or lemonade. So in goes our zest. It's going to give it color. It's going to give it the zing that we love. So in she goes. Oh yeah. So our lime zest has been added in. It's going to give our syrup a beautiful sort of funny enough, deep, dark green zesty look. I'm just going to add these in because why not? I just love it so much. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slice and I'm going to add in the juice of the fresh lime as well because well, I love lime. You don't have to do this. That is more than enough lime, but I really like a lime oh, to it. So uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So our lime syrup is completed. All we've got to do is let it cool down. Now, I, I can't wait that long. Now, the reason that we leave it to cool down is the lime zest is going to infuse all those tasty flavors. So best thing to do is leave it overnight. But I'm not going to do that. Well, I am going to do that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make one now because it tastes good already. It's just going to get stronger and taste even better. So I have got a blender. I have a blender. I even bought one. Check me. So I've got a load of ice cubes. Again, unnecessary, but why not? It's for a YouTube video. And let us uh, just kind of, yeah, get in there. Just gonna throw the ice everywhere. Is that gonna be enough? Should be enough. I have more if I need. So uh, let's blend this down.
here we have homemade mojito. Right? Cheers. Oh, that's good. Should have made it a bit stronger. So, it has those fresh mint notes. It tastes of lime. I'm getting the lime juice. I'm getting the lime zest. I've got not a lot of taste of alcohol. Funny enough, and it is mildly uh, carbonated. That's good. That's really good. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh, that tastes like a mojito. Success. Oh. oh, that is just what the doctor ordered. That is good. That, uh, oh, that sugar syrup is going to be even better. Oh. I'm going to have to have another one, but stronger. So that was really good. Now, it was using the freeze distilled sugar wine. And I did say you didn't... How dare it. I did say you didn't have to use the freeze distilled sugar wine. You could just use sugar wine. So I've got this. Don't worry, guys. The stuff I need, this is all going through the freezer. Uh, I've taken off what I needed for, you know, other videos. So I'm just going to grab some of the pure stuff. This has been sterilized. I quickly did it because I'm cool like that. And it smells, well, it smells like sugar wine. Tastes like sugar wine. It's got a little bit of a, a harsh note to it, but hey. So unlike the last time I used uh, 30 mil, which is just over a shot to make a cheeky mojito, uh, this is 100 and 100 mil. Not bad. So in that goes, you can see there's quite a difference in the alcohol. Gonna add in some do the, the thing with the mint, add in another bit of lime, where's my spoon, beat the crap out of it, because you've got to do that, since the only thing that was in here was sugar wine, take a little sort of 25 mil, just to mask any of the sort of wine tastes, add in a bit more ice, and you don't really have a lot of room for soda unless you use a pint glass. So add that in. And just enough to give it a little bit of a sparkle. Just a tiny bit. Where's my stirrer? Got to have my fancy cocktail stirrer. So there we go. Looks almost identical. Let's give it a taste. good so it doesn't have quite the same sparkle but apart from that it tastes the same to the first one uh, exactly so you don't have to it's just more room for syrup and sparkles I like sparkles too oh it's dangerous very dangerous because it doesn't taste alcoholic that's good and there we go guys, we have made sugar wine into cocktails, two different ways. One way with freeze distillation, the other way without. As you can tell, the one without freeze distillation, it's, it's flat. I mean, that's basically what it is, it's flat. I probably didn't even need to add the soda in, but I like my mojito with a bit of sparkle. It just it brings out the flavors more, but it's still good. Mm. That would be a good thumbnail. Anyway, so if you make this or something like this using this, put a comment down in the uh, comment section. Funny that. And you know, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do. But more importantly, carry on homebrewing, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this. See you later.